This is Zangler, the Tesla Semi Stalker, and today I've got a video just shot th just three days after my last video where we had seen all of the um, new metal uh, steel for the uh, new Tesla Semi Factory, the high volume semi factory that we're looking at a rendering from Tesla at right now during this intro. Um, what we'll find out and we'll see is some amazing amount of pro progress and an unprecedented amount of progress for three days. The big um, news is that foundation work has finally begun and our patience has been rewarded for seeing a lot of dirt for the last several months. The additional, um, the additional um, highlight of today's video is an additional, additional steel deliveries that more than double what we saw three days ago. So this is, um, this is the incredibly fast production that we're used to. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to see, we're going to fly from the northwest end of the Gigafactory um, high volume semi factory site over to the northeast end. Here we, go, here we have the, um, the foundation work and the mystery is solved. The foundation approach is now known. This will be your typical uh, type of trenched foundation with rebar and concrete. 30 days after that dries, they can start assembling the, um, the, the uh, posts for the building. And um, we can see, we saw the uh, beginning of the outline of the building. When they get to the um, north, when they get to the southwest end and turn that corner, we'll then see, we'll get a general idea of just exactly how big this building is going to be. And um, you, if you look here, if you recall from three days ago, it's a massive amount of new steel deliveries, some, some uh, tents and uh, small uh, work areas, shaded work areas have been set up. One of the water tanks has been moved or now it's adjacent to that forming a backwards L and that is to make, was to make room for more of those steel deliveries. This uh, new uh, entrance to uh, Giga Nevada is now operational. They've got a gate and a temporary guard shack where a lone guard um, monitors access and they have a, a tr security trailer that has uh, motion sensors and cameras um, so they can monitor, the, monitor this gate um, when the guard is not there, you know, overnight and, and other occasions. That that's how they secure the building. In the middle of the screen, the top middle of the screen, none of that metal was there along that edge. Um, I imagine that's probably some of the metal for that end of the building. And um, we're going to come in closer and get a little better look at this. And we'll be traveling from northeast to northwest this time, maybe getting a little better look at all of this material. Getting a good look at all this material, it's um, seems to be at least twice as much as was there three days ago. That's a lot of material to bring in in three days. And then here is the um, beginning of the foundation work. And um, I may endeavor to uh, get a flight during the day while they're working so we can see some of the activity as they're working. And um, in the meantime, let's just take a really good look at this and uh, I will uh, Stop talking for a moment. While we take a look at this um, corner with the exciting new foundation work, we can um, maybe start thinking about and get comments and replies on um, how long this will take. Uh, now that we know the foundation construction style and we've seen the foundation work beginning and all of this was done in three days, um, I think that uh, we can perhaps move up our timeline, but I'm interested to see what the viewers think. Looking forward to seeing how far that the uh, west edge goes up to the south, because we're looking from north to south right here. 
and when it makes a turn, and that'll um, give us an outline of the building. I noticed on the rendering that the building is not completely square, that as we go over to the uh, east, on the left of the screen, that it sort of jogs out, maybe um, for a final delivery section of the building. But um, we're gonna see progress as it unfolds, and I'll continue to fly more, at least every three days as possible, and I might even fly tomorrow so that we can see during the day, this is like filmed at five o'clock in the afternoon, so every, maybe even later, so the workers had stopped for the day. And I like this view. This gives you an idea of what Northern Nevada looks like, the high desert of Northern Nevada. You may not realize that the um, base elevation for this whole North, Northern Nevada um, plain is about 4,000 feet. So the, um, this is high desert, and this is a nice look around. And thanks for joining us, and stay tuned for more.